Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. You know how I do. I will not be before you long. I will be coming out of the book of Deuteronomy chapter 13. I will only read two verses. Verses 3 and 4. I will be doing this reading out of the King James Version of the Bible. First of all, let me give praise, honor, and glory to the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. I pray that he will open our heart unto the reading and hearing of his word, that we may find ourselves walking in obedience to him and only him. May he open our eyes that we may behold the beauty of his Torah. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 3. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For Yehovah your God proveth you to know whether ye love Yehovah your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Here the word proveth means he is testing you. Yehovah is constantly testing his people to see if we love him or not. Now look. On how he gauges our love. Look at the parameters. Look at the standard. Of our love for him. Verse 4. Ye shall walk after Jehovah your God. And fear him. And keep his commandments. And obey his voice. And ye shall serve him. And cleave unto him. Hallelujah. To show forth our love to Jehovah, we are to obey him. We are to obey his law, statutes, and commandments. Do that mean we obey all 613? No, because all 613 commandments is not for one individual to keep. Some commandments are for women. Some is for the king. Some is for the priests. Some is for those that are in agricultural. So, no, all 613 commandments is not for one person to keep. And no, if you break one commandment, you are not guilty of breaking all 613 commandments. That did not come from God. So once again, I want you to see what Yehoah requires of us and what he says reveals to him that we love him. He didn't say anything about that. We put our faith in the son of God. He didn't say anything about if we open our hearts and ask the Son of God to come into our hearts. He don't say anything about if we plead the blood of the Lamb of God. He does not say any of that. But this is what he does say. And I will read it again. Yehovah is proving us to see if we love him. Listen to these two verses again. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For Yehovah your God proveth you, or he is testing you, to know whether you love Yehovah your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Verse 4, ye shall walk after Yehovah your God, fear him, fear who? Yehovah. And keep his commandments, his commandments who? Yehovah's commandments. And obey his voice, whose voice? Yehovah's voice. And ye shall cleave. And ye shall serve him, him who, Yehovah, and cleave unto him, him who, Yehovah. It's all about Yehovah and keeping his law, statutes, and his commandments. Nowhere here did Yehovah say anything about us opening ourselves up to the Son of God and asking the Son of God or the Mashiach to enter into our hearts and save us. That is not there. Yehovah is testing us. He is testing his people Israel to see whether or not that we love him. Not him and his Christ. He said love him. And we will honor his laws, statutes, and his commandments. We will cleave unto him. And that we will serve him. So my brothers and my sisters. Israel. Do we love God or not? Peace.